After buying my Land Rover and spending three months down south, I decided to escape the humdrum and head north to disconnect from the rat race and social media and reconnect with the natural world. What not a better maiden voyage for the Land Rover to drive up to the Lake District to celebrate Christmas. It was so lovely to be back in the mountains again, to go for walks, swimming in the river and just being amongst the fresh air, as well as driving Percy the Land Rover through some beautiful terrain and experiencing some torrential weather. Hello everyone, Becky here. Thank you so, so much for returning to the Land Rover series. If you're new here, I've recently bought a Land Rover Discovery 2 to convert and live in full time. I'm from the south of England, but I do hope to travel and see some other beautiful places within this Land Rover. So recently I headed over to the lakes to just get used to the vehicle and get used to the basic conversion that I have at the minute. So which I will run through now. So there's just a basic bed and flooring and just things I need to get by at the minute. But before I begin, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, whatever you were doing. Thank you for such lovely comments that I've been given. I also wanted to say a happy 2023, happy new year. I hope you have a beautiful year filled with loads of travel skills, whatever you want to fulfill your year with. I hope you achieve it. I'm really excited for this year and also for a new project, a new chapter. It's going to be very new. It's going to be very exciting and I'm buzzing for it. I can't wait and I can't wait to share it with you guys also. Now the interior, I've currently got a bed, a platform to lay on, which is pretty much luxury. And underneath I've got these plastic storage boxes for putting equipment, clothing, and just organizing my kit, because this is gonna be a case of being so organized in here. Before we left for the lakes, it was a case of cracking out a bed and the flooring to go inside, as well as the ply sides and the door. It was great learning some beneficial skills off Jake as well. So yeah, it's great to have a bed to get me off the floor and also have the ply flooring, which is really lovely and ply in the sides just to cover up the insulation that's been done. But yeah, this is a really basic build at the minute and I'm looking forward for it to grow and progress and see some more things, but definitely need to get a diesel heater in and some sort of worktop space and that's going to be an ongoing process. So the next part of my video is attempting Hard Knots Pass, which is in the Lake District. It's a very steep and challenging pass through the mountains and it is graded really high and it's got some steep old corners. And this is something I wanted to test out in the Land Rover to get used to driving it and I was very, very nervous. Right, so I've just stopped before we make our way up Hard Knots Pass. And to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit nervous Obviously I'm new to the Land Rover and how it drives and operates and it is a bloody steep sort of pass through the mountains but it's absolutely stunning. I've been up there years ago but I personally didn't drive so this is going to be really exciting stuff and a good way to get used to driving some steep terrain in this Land Rover. But yeah we'll see how it goes and um, it's going to be beautiful. But anyway, as you know from my video so far, I've been in the lakes for a few days, a few days with Jake and his brother celebrating Christmas. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. I hope it was beautiful. You spent it with loved ones, eating plenty of food, having a lot of drink and just enjoying the end of this beautiful year that it's been. I'm going to hit the road, which we like. So we have arrived at Hard Knots Pass. I'm buzzing, I'm, but I've got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous because it is a steep old climb and it actually snowed on the peaks last night. So I hope that isn't too snowy or icy up here, but it's bloody stunning. It's so good to be back in the mountains and you really appreciate it when you've been in flat terrain for a while. Mental. I have gained so much height already but oh them corners they really kick up I think you can just see how high I'm getting 
fry. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy and sort of slog along. This is crazy. What a road. <laughs> Definitely wanna camp up here, but the plan is to get over to Ambleside to get some food and some fuel. But definitely gonna pop back up here for um for a camp <laughs> Woo! that was bloody great right i'm at the top of the pass now <laughs> we made it descent here this would be mega on a push bike <laughs> bloody hell that was incredible shame I missed of me coming up in my face because I bet I was like ah but that was that was awesome really good fun like I was saying a minute ago it isn't the car that I know this is capable it's a 4x4 it's a Land Rover of course it's capable of stuff like this I was on about my driving <laughs> but I made it and it's just completely different getting used to such a heavy and big vehicle as well. After that absolutely stunning and exciting drive, it was time to head back down. Descending from all that height, I made it into Ambleside, a cute little village to resupply on some stocks. So just before it got dark, I tried to find somewhere to park up for the night. Right, so I just got back from my little dunk. It was bloody freezing in the water, but so worth it. It was so refreshing, and I really got into cold water therapy and how beneficial it is for your body at the minute. I've got a natural homemade soap bar that I took with me. As it doesn't have much in it and it's not damaging, I just used a little bit in the river to wash myself. But anyway, I'm in here now. I'm gonna have a little sort out. I'm gonna get warm and think about something to eat, but it is so cozy in here. The only thing I really need desperately is a diesel heater, but it's definitely been so cool getting to drive it, getting used to how it works, sleeping inside. I know there is a lot of comments saying that I've done a really bad decision with this Land Rover, but if you look after these, these can last for years. And personally, I feel like I've chosen a really decent one that's in such good condition and doesn't have a lot of rust and there's low mileage and I do have faith in it. I obviously understand that they are prone to breaking down or having problems and you do have to throw money at it but I'd rather throw money at something that I love than just settle for something that I'm not very passionate about. The rest of the morning was absolutely dismal with constant rain. I met Jake in a local coffee shop to dry out and get a bit of heat in the bones before doing a little bit of editing, finally getting some signal, having a look around Ambleside and getting a resupply on some food. As it got dark at four o'clock and was suddenly losing light, I headed over to another park up for the night. So I've just got to my park up for the night and it's absolutely pissing it down. 
I cannot believe how heavy the rain is and the wind is so bloody strong. Really nice drive over though. It was just pretty mental coming down them little lanes with this weather. So the plan is now is I'm gonna sort out the back and then I'm gonna put some dinner on. I've only got soup tonight. Just something quick and easy but that warms you up. I've got my dinner going now. Just a soup in a pot. Literally what you'd be doing if you're hiking. It's very minimal at the minute, but this is just the beginning. And these are the moments I'm really gonna cherish when it's just this tiny little bed in here. It's just been insulated and it's just bare bones. It's all a blank canvas in here. I don't have a proper cooking station. I don't have a worktop. These minimal and simple times are what I cherish the most because it teaches you a lot about life and how a lot of the times we do overthink things, we overcomplicate things in normal life and we put so much pressure and stress on ourselves judge ourselves on what we have instead of who we are. Doing this sort of stuff brings you back to what you need in your life, not necessarily what you want. I cannot believe that at 20 years old, I'm just sitting in something that I've been dreaming about for ages and it finally feels like a reality. I desperately wanted to live in a vehicle. It was something that was really drawn to me. You're probably wondering, Bex, why are you coming to the lakes? In the middle of winter, when your truck's literally so minimal and hard to live in, which it is. I've literally got my roll mat there, as you can see, and my bike there. And that's the thing that I'm suffering most with is the lack of diesel here for drying stuff because it's just been constant rain. This is all the adventure. I'll remember this when it's all done, sitting in the back of it, stirring a pot of vegetable soup. I really miss being up north. I've really missed the mountains. God, the whole truck is rocking from that wind. That is mental. I've got my sourdough bread. Got my soup. Bloody lovely. I definitely got to this park up a lot later than I planned. And I was planning on going up Hard Knots tonight. Hard Knots Pass, like I did the other day really set on camping up there but the weather is absolutely manky i thought sod it i'm not gonna bother i can't tell you how i love these moments they're simple things it gives you so much appreciation Good morning, I've just woken up and I had a beautiful sleep. The landing was shaking so much in the night because of the wind. So the plan is I'm gonna make a coffee on the jet boil and then I'm gonna go and appreciate the view and how lovely it is, even though it is really windy. And then I'm gonna go from there. To be honest, the past three days, weather-wise, has been mental. It's left me a lot of the time being stuck in here, and it's also been so difficult to dry out my clothes when I go outside and I get absolutely soaked. 
but it's made me appreciate how amazing it is when it's not raining and so windy. Whilst the rain resumed, the wind continued in big gusts as well. But I was so, so grateful that it just finally stopped sideways raining. I made up some grub, a nice breakfast with a beautiful view. What more could you ask for? I cooked this simply out the back, as you can see on my little stove set up, and just enjoyed the last remaining days in the Lake District. As always, this trip has been great for reflection and to decide what I want to do in 2023. There's so many trips that I have in mind and I'm super excited to make them a reality. And I hope that you can stay around for the journey. So a lot of you have been wondering, what is the name of my Land Rover? Am I going to give it a name? What are you going to call it? And I've come up with a name. I decided to name him after a famous explorer, Percy Fawcett, who did a lot of exploration in the Amazon rainforest. I've read a book about him, watched the film and several other videos, and I was super inspired. And I hope to travel and explore new wild places in the Land Rover, so I thought it was a great fit. As well, he's a bloke that I admire and found so robust, determined and out the box. I could spend hours talking about Percy's explorations, but I reckon it's simpler to Google him yourself or read the book about his life story. I'll now read one of his famous quotes that I find so powerful. Deep down inside me, a tiny voice was calling. At first scarcely audible, it persisted until I could no longer ignore it. It was the voice of the wild places, and I knew that it was now part of me, forever. I truly hope you've enjoyed watching this video and will stick around to see more of the conversion of Percy. I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you have a beautiful 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my Patreons for making this possible. Take care and I will see you on the next video.